afternoon to all of you. I have read a story about a group of children playing war games in a troubled country. They were shooting each other with toy guns. A stranger passed by and noticed what the children were playing. He called the children and told them that instead of playing war games, they should rather play peace games for a change. But the children were puzzled. One of them asked the stranger, how do you play peace games? There is no doubt, my dear brothers and sisters, that peace is the deepest need of every person in the world today. It is a word easy to spell, a word easy to pronounce, and a word easy to preach, but hard to achieve. My dear brothers and sisters, the message of peace was so central in the life of, of our Lord Jesus. And in the gospel today, our Lord speaks of peace and not as the world gives. Peace can have different meanings. Sinasabi natin sa namatay, na mahal natin sa buhay at kakilala, rest in peace. Meaning they are free from all the cares and worries of earthly life. Kapag meron tayong hindi sinasadyang salitang hindi magandang nasabi, or we don't intend to act sa isang bagay or actions na hindi rin maganda towards sa ating kapwa, sinasabi natin, peace. In other words, it indicates that no offense was meant in the words of our actions earlier expressed or done. Meron din naman sinasabing peace time Di ba? Ibig sabihin, before and after the war, there is peace time. Peace as understood here is the absence of conflict or hostilities. Pero minsan, hindi ko rin maintindihan, ano? Pag nagpapapicture tayo, nagsasign of peace tayo. Di ko alam ko na ibig sabihin ng meaning na yon, But still, we invoke peace. Peace can have different meanings. But the gospel message of today, Jesus speaks of my peace and not as the world gives. The peace would make hearts untroubled and unafraid. The situation becomes an attitude of peace through life's trials and crosses that put our faith to the test. The peace of Christ comes to the true believer 
in the midst of these trials because he is assured that all this will pass away. All he has to do is to be strong and hold on, trusting that God will not give him a burden he or she cannot carry. It is the conviction that everything will be all right at the end. One experiences true peace when one totally surrenders himself and everything in this life to the loving hands of God. My dear brothers and sisters, I would compare it to the carefree attitude of children who are secure in the loving care of their parents or their elders. They know that someone knows and take care, takes care of all their needs. The peace of Christ gives us the feeling of security and serenity, knowing that God's love is always there, knowing that God will not forsake us. It is the knowledge that God is with me. There is nothing to fear. Going through life with this kind of attitude, we can be instruments or channels of that peace that only God can give.